this Witchcraft Labs episode, I decided to take on the challenge of creating a small-scale version of the helmet worn by the mouth of Sauron from the Lord of the Rings, and out of solid silver, just to make things even more interesting. First I laid out my template on a sheet of silver, then began to slowly and painfully saw out over 50 teeny tiny pieces by hand with my tiny little jeweler saw. This is an extra fun process, especially if you have little sausagey fingers like I do. <laughs> How many bits were lost to the portals in the floor? Well, I've lost count. The following step was to solder each individual piece to another to create the helmet panels. Once the panels were made, it was then time to solder all those tiny panels together to form the helmet shape. I had to make sure each one was perfectly placed so that it matched up on both sides so that we didn't end up with a wonky formed helmet that would not exactly be very cool for our fearsome villain. What made this extra tricky was to not melt off the previous helmet panel as I added the next. When soldering, one has to add heat evenly over the entire piece in order to add another. With this many panels, and a piece slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger, well, there was much cursing during this entire stage. Finally, once all soldered, most of the anxiety had faded into an eerie sense of calm. And once all that was left to do was to clean, polish, and add an antique finish, which completes the evil aesthetic. The darkening patina I used is called liver of sulfur, a gross but also very fitting substance that is quite toxic and smells like rotten eggs when applied. Mmm, what a perfect addition to a perfectly villainous piece. and then we repolish again for good measure and some extra dazzle. Finally, it's complete and ready to be placed on the servant of the Dark Lord himself, which is to be created, but that is for another episode.